Hi, hi everyone. Um, oh my gosh, what an overwhelming response I've had to my first video log, vlog, um, that I put up um, at the start of the week. It is so emotional, really emotional, to get messages from people from all walks of life, um, from um, friends of friends to people I don't even know who have um, congratulated me or empathised with the situation that I found myself in when I worked all the hours in the world um, and didn't spend any time with my family. It is, it's, re it's really over overwhelming, so to thank you to, to you all. Um, but um, I guess I guess now, what do I talk about? <laughs> um, so I just wanted to give you a bit of a background to what I've done today and how how I've gone, how my days have differed from getting up at six o'clock in the morning, jumping on the motorway and, and sitting in an office from, uh, from eight o'clock in the morning. It was never really eight o'clock, it was probably five past nine. <laughs> Too late at night because I always late work later. Um, and I think people look at my life and think, oh, she got it made, you know, she's at home with the kids all the day. It is not that easy or, or glamorous whatsoever. So this morning I was woken up and my husband, Rob, shouting downstairs, Louise, Louise, Austin's cut his hair. <laughs> so I went downstairs and there was Austin, um, my little boy, four-year-old little boy, um, with <laughs> a big, with scissors, and, oh, there's a dog, and a big cut, cut of his hair. And he said I didn't do it. Shush, Margo. He said I didn't do it. <laughs> he obviously did do it. Um, so I told him in no uncertain terms that if he did that again, I would take him. Um, I'd take him to the bathroom and shave his hair. <laughs> he won't do it again. He doesn't want hair shaved hair. But then I looked over at my daughter, my six-year-old daughter Effie, who also had, <laughs> had a bit cut here, and Effie's got this beautiful blonde curly hair. She had this cut here, a very much cut hair, and I said you've done it as well. And she flat out lied to my face and said, no, mummy, I didn't. I didn't. Um, so again, I told her if she did it again, that I'd have to take her um, and, and shave her hair as well. So I hope they don't do it again. But you know that fear of dread? Then you see the kids who have cut their fringe up to here. I know, I know someone, um, like from a friend or a friend, whose daughter cut their hair, their fringe to here, on like two days before they started school. <laughs> Um, and then, funnily enough, it was school um, it was school photograph day for Effie at school. So Effie then went to school with a haircut here. <laughs> Tried to slap it back with some um, with some um, hairspray, um, but on photograph day. So that was my morning. I think maybe working in Sainsbury's, um, doing a trading meeting, might have been a bit easier than that this morning. I then um, I then did some some um, runabouts, had some te team conversations, and now it's just, I've just about relaxed. Um, so I thought I'd just catch up with you guys and um, and and again say say thank you. I think when you make the leap of faith to do something completely different than the norm, you are you you can be sort of ostracised by the flock. I guess you. Um, you are doing something different. You are breaking the breaking the norm. You you know the norm is you you work um work at school or you sorry you work work after a school or college or university and then you go into a nine to five. You work hard and um, you get promoted. You work harder. You get promoted and um, then you work harder again. And to to make the change of that and to do something completely different and um stand out from the crowd is 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 scary um i don't think i ever thought of it as being i don't, I don't think i ever thought about it as it being completely different to the norm i don't i don't think i thought about it as being scary and in hindsight maybe maybe it was but i i thought about it as doing something that was right for my family and um I, I needed to i needed to be a businesswoman that, that's you know i i'm i'm motivated i'm determined i'm, I'm driven so I wanted to be a businesswoman, but something that would balance with my kids. Um, and I'm really grateful of the opportunity to do that. And really grateful that, I guess, my husband supported me, although he didn't at first. I think he, he thought I just sat around and did nothing. I used to come home. He's like, what have you done all day? And I was like, I know it looks like I've done nothing around the house, but I haven't stopped all day. <laughs> One day I'm not going to do anything, and you know what? The house will be in a mess, and the kids will be feral on the street. <laughs> They'll say, "That's what I do every day." That. <laughs> um, so again, thank you, so, thank you so much for the messages. Um, if you do empathise with um, my story, please share with your, your your friends if it's something that you find. Um, will help them or help you. Please get in touch. I'd love to connect to people who are on a similar journey to me I know that sounds really cheesy but a similar journey to me or a similar a similar time in their life where they are just taking stock of what 
what has happened and um or just taking stock of, of where they are now and where they want to be in the next 15 20 years because i had a real um epiphany moment um a, a, about, a, about a year ago and my husband was just just turning um turning 34 and is he 34? yeah he's just turning 34 and i said to him do you know um i know this sounds really miserable but if you die the same age as my dad, you only got 24 years left on this earth. <laughs> and we're moaning every day about going to work and hating our hating our co-workers. I didn't hate my co-workers, that's not true. Um, my husband did. Um, but, you know, 24 years left to, left to do everything that's on your bucket list or everything you want to do with your children is nothing. Um, and I think had my dad thought that... Um, 24 years before he died maybe his path would have been slightly different I don't know um, whether he was happy in his job or happy with the way his career panned out but when when that's put into context for you in, in that way um, then think things have to start changing because you have to really um, motivate yourself to not run the norm and be on that hamster wheel anymore so if you are in a similar situation if if you do like my vlogs please get in touch i'd love to hear from you again okay see ya bye i can't turn it off